When you think of obnoxious fees, you probably think of this, the airport. But while fees to check a bag, pick a seat, or print a ticket are outrageous, at least they're infrequent. Banking fees are worse for three reasons. They're continuous, you often don't notice them, and they're hard to get around. According to a recent survey by MoneyRates.com, the average bank customer now pays $12.69 a month or 152 bucks a year for a checking account. It seems like a lot to access your own money. Mistakes? Also getting pricier. In the first six months of this year, overdraft fees are up 45 cents to an average of $32.48. And the average fee that a bank charges for its own customers to use an out-of-network ATM is now $1.52. That's up seven cents just since this January. So what's a customer to do? Well, not easy, the answer is simple. Don't use the banks with the highest fees. Who are they? According to money rates, the biggest banks. Here is a new concept in banking. The $3 million structure is filled with unique features. The ones who advertise the most also charge the most. Way less are online banks. They're less likely to charge checking account fees, and those that do charge less. Need in-person banking? Credit unions are also more likely to offer free or discounted checking. And if you think 150 bucks a year is no big deal, consider it this way. Invest 150 bucks a year, do it for 30 years, earn 8%, you'll end up with 18 grand. So your choice is either to put that in your bank account or your bankers. Now what you need is some links to lower cost banking. And you're going to find them at moneytalksnews.com. Just do a search for banking. For Money Talks News, I'm Stacy Johnson. Want a higher rate on your savings or a lower rate on your loans? Get the free Money Talks newsletter. It only takes seven seconds to sign up, and it's full of deals and news you'll really use. Do it now at MoneyTalksNews.com.